this week, I mean, the hottest news in tech was that NVIDIA is planning, and they said something about AMD, but I almost don't even want to talk about it because yeah. I'm having a hard time believing that one. But the NVIDIA is kind of going to lean in, go all in on ARM-based uh, PC. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, big uh, Stephen Ellis had a Reuters uh, leak, uh, and it was exactly what you said. It essentially said NVIDIA is you know, going to go Windows, Windows on ARM. And, and to me, this, this is a, uh, one of the worst kept uh, secrets and rumors. And, and let me step back. The original Windows 8 and the original Surface actually had a, an NVIDIA SOC uh, in it. Now, there were three brands in it at the time. It failed miserably. Microsoft had a billion dollar write off. But, uh, you know, NVIDIA is not um, an unknown uh, to ARM. And in fact, they've ported all of their CUDA libraries uh, over to ARM and they try to buy ARM uh, yeah. unsuccessfully uh, because China. Uh, just was a was a non uh, a non answer. Wasn't just China, right? <laughs> uh, what came out of that though is they got an ARM architecture license, right? Uh, now I don't know. Actually, I don't think this is something that is a custom core, or they had an ARC license. I think they're taking the Gray Super Chip and modifying it for gaming and workstations. Okay, that's that's my take, which I think was different from the Reuters uh, Nellis case. And you know, then I'm, I'm thinking of, well, uh, games are x86 for the most part, and this is why Apple is terrible at, at real PC gaming. Uh, and so are workstation apps like Dassault, uh, as an example, all of these certified applications. So this is something, if it truly is gaming and workstation, uh, Nvidia and even Microsoft will, will have to uh, take care of. I did want to hit on the AMD okay. rumor. It's all you. So AMD doesn't need ARM. Let me just put it out there. And if x86 can be low power if it's architected and tested, just like we saw ARM can be very high performant as long as it's architected like that and has the proper ecosystem. Now, if a semi-custom, if a customer went to AMD and said, I want you to build this chip for me, right? And in uh, uh, Xbox and PlayStation, AMD creates a, a custom, I know it's confusing, must be confusing folks, semi-custom, custom, uh, but they build, and they have done this for a decade, uh, special chips for game consoles. Let's say Microsoft asked them to do something, I think that they would, I think that they would deliver. And, and if I think if Microsoft wanted to create its own PC SOC or something like that, I think their, their first partner they would look at would be AMD because they've got an over a 10 year relationship on creating custom silicon uh, with the company. That's it, that's all I got, buddy. Well, listen, the rumor created a lot of interest and then therefore for us, it gave us a chance to comment and that comment gave us a chance to opine and get, yeah. you know, attention and we like that. So NVIDIA is the hottest company in AI. Can yeah. we agree on that? I mean, maybe Microsoft would be the next in line and then Google, but NVIDIA yeah, stole data set, the year. I have to caveat with data center AI. Yeah. But I mean, no company's made more money, gained more market share or gotten more attention in the media than NVIDIA for this year. Jensen's been on every stage in the planet. It sure does great media. She creates great yes. fodder to talk about what NVIDIA is going to do. Um, like you said, probably the worst kept secret in a long time that uh, NVIDIA wanted to do more with ARM and it's already doing CPUs with ARM. So that's right. not actually true. It's not new. Of course, it's a top down strategy. They're doing very high performance, you know, and could they move down into more, like you said, into a workstation or into maybe even a uh, mobile PC? like what Qualcomm is doing. And of course the answer is maybe. Yeah. Um, and directionally uh, with the way ARM architectures work and the IP blocks and licensing, does NVIDIA have the resources and cash to do it if they want to? Would their relationships with OEMs potentially translate? I think they could. Yeah. Um, but the truth is, you know, and we'll talk about this maybe because, uh, um, you know, Pat Gelsinger, what he inferred to in our comment today, but look, you know, it takes time. You know, we didn't really say this in the Qualcomm comments about Snapdragon, but they've been at this seven years. Yeah. And yes, the designs are better, but you know, building sell in and sell out meaningfully in these channels is not, uh, it, it's, not a, it's not a marginal activity. It's substantial, it's material. It's a big active, active role that these companies have to take. 
And this yeah. channel is littered with people who have gotten very used to certain mechanisms of going to market, including back-end dollars that make it work for their businesses. Will the, you know, Will NVIDIA just be able to come to market and everybody's just gonna want it? I don't know, I think gaming. I mean, what I keep thinking is gaming. A gaming device yeah. is probably where it'll end up happening. Um, it's not gonna be the end of Intel, no matter how much people want it to be, but it sure does make for great TV.